Good morning, Patriots! Welcome to Rex Finds TV. I'm Nia Seymour. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for our school mission statement. We the Patriots achieve greatness through high expectations passion and perseverance thank you you may not be seated today is tuesday november 1st 2022 now let's learn something new with today's sel lesson what last night I, it was so funny that's bro. disgusting you guys should not be sharing food you don't have to say so mean that's what i'm saying here, Jasmine saw Hadassah and Sophia sharing food, but instead of telling them the cafeteria rule, she started talking to them aggressively about it. Why don't we try that again? Like that roll up thing so was so fun. Much exactly. Like, we should do that again sometime. Like, mm -hmm. this yeah. Friday? Mm -hmm. Right, like, that was so good. What are you guys doing? Are you sharing food? Yeah. Didn't you get sick from that? Oh. oh. We didn't. No. I, well, I, I didn't promise know. not to do it again. I'll keep that in mind next time. Here, Jasmine saw Hadassah and Sophia sharing food again, but instead of yelling at them, she told them that we aren't allowed to share food. Remember, instead of yelling at your classmates, try to inform them nicely. Until next time, Patriots. Thanks for that amazing new lesson. Let's make sure to stay healthy and not share food, Patriots. Now let's go learn a new word with word of the day. Hey Jasmine, I noticed you have some pretty outlandish ideas. Yeah, my ideas are sometimes pretty unusual and bizarre. For real, like that one idea you had of making a puppy machine? Yeah, that was pretty wild. I would say more like outlandish. I can't argue with that. See you tomorrow on Word of the Day. Now let's see what happened today in history with Alexander. Thank you, Nia, Patriots. In today's history, on November 1st, 1512, the Sistine Chapel ceiling opened to the public. It is located in Rome in one of the Italian artist Michelangelo finest works. This chapel was made to recreate the Temple of Jerusalem with the same dimensions as in the Bible. It was also built for the occasion of a new bridge over the Tiber River. These paintings were separated into 13 different categories. To this day, the Sistine Chapel is still being visited. Did you know it took seven years just to finish the ceiling? I don't know about you, but I would be very tired if I was working for seven years. Wow, I really need to go there. It sounds so cool. Now let's see what's cooking with Chanel. Thank you, Alexander. Today's lunch is beef nachos, two cheese croissants, pinto beans, salsa, pineapple tidbits, mayonnaise, and your choice of milk. Students, keep in mind lunch can change at any time and to always bring your lunch card. Don't forget to let your teachers know if you'll be receiving lunch today. Bon appetit, now let's go back to Nia. Thank you, Chanel. Sounds tasty. Super Patriots, we are still calling for this quarter of the instructional software challenge. Grades K through second, you will need 20 minutes weekly usage in Lexia and 25 past lessons in iReady Math. And for grades three through eighth, you will need 25 lessons passed in iReady Reading and 25 past lessons in Imagine Math. All grades need to complete this challenge by Friday, December 23rd. Let's keep flying through those lessons with an 80% or higher. Patriots, please don't forget our cell phone policies. It is important to make sure you have your phone shut down and in your backpacks at all times. Now let's see what the weather looks like today with Sophia. Thank you, Nia. Good morning, Patriots. For today's weather, you can expect a nice 88 degrees Fahrenheit with partly cloudy skies. Yesterday was Halloween, Patriots. We hope you had lots of fun. In other weather news, this new invention could have some great benefits. A new company called Bayer has been working developing short stature corn. What this means is corn that grows on shorter stalks. There are many benefits to doing this, but the best would probably be their ability to withstand strong winds. In 2021, an infamous storm hit Iowa, knocking out 14 million acres of corn. Now, with this new development, we're sure this won't happen again. This definitely is a game changer for anyone who grows corn. Now, let's go to Destiny for the birthdays. 
Thank you, Sophia. Today's birthday boys and girls are Corey Graham, Mia Morales, Pamela Perez, Isabella Hernandez, Rose Hernandez, and Victor Santiago. Happy birthday, now let's go back to Nia. Thanks, Destiny. Patriots, here are your packs expectations. It represents, present yourself positively, act kindly towards others, treat the school's environment respectfully, and succeed at everything. And now for Monday's daily challenge. Congrats to you all, Miss Reynolds, Miss Silvera, Miss Arnold, and Miss Pardinez had the correct response to Monday's daily challenge, which was a deck of cards. Now for today's daily challenge. Daily challenge. A little girl goes to the store and buys one dozen eggs. As she is going home, all but three break. How many eggs are left unbroken? Teachers, please send your answers to pines.renaissance at gmail.com before 9 a.m. in order for your answers to be reviewed. Winners will be announced on the next morning announcements. Everyone at RPTV would like to wish you all a terrific Tuesday. And remember, here at Pines, we are going to renew excellence in education. Have a great day!